So, so what uh, is there anything you uh, you would like to have talked about that we didn't get to? You know, there is a silent supermajority in California. These people don't necessarily show up on polls. These are people that are just, they're screaming at their TV every night saying, you know, how can these guys, you know, put out these crazy laws and why are taxes always among the highest? Can't anybody stop this? And the answer is yes, and we can, the California people can. To give you an idea, uh, LA Times did an article about two years ago, and they found that there's more Republicans elected in California than Democrats in, in the elected offices. And the reason this is, is because the majority of offices aren't governor and legislative, they are county supervisor and city council and school board and water district. And when you add up all those offices, there's actually more Republicans elected in California than Democrats. And that's how you win. Let me uh, just, just briefly get a, get a quick synopsis from you on a couple of hot button issues. Uh, marijuana, legalizing uh, marijuana. How yes. do you feel about that? I am absolutely against recreational marijuana use. I think it's a, a terrible thing for our communities. I think very simply it is a gateway drug and that has been proven in all the modern studies. So remember originally it was, no, it's not a gateway, but now it's, it's very clear. I think the, the latest numbers are you're nine times more likely to head on to more illicit substances. Uh, once so you, so you don't you don't buy the argument that legalization actually gets it more under control. Than Absolutely you. not. You only have to look at, at Colorado and now see that they have the second highest use of, of teen marijuana use in the entire United States. Now this is different than medical marijuana. You know, if there are people that need it for a valid medical purpose, I think I can I can definitely see past that. But now we're talking about recreational use, and I just don't think it's going to turn out well for California. It is not turning out well for Colorado. How about immigration? The issue of uh, illegal immigration. Big problem in California. So it's not just the fact that we have these open borders where people are you know, running across and, and we need to strengthen it and tighten up these borders, which we absolutely do. It's that now these people that are here illegally, some of them are committing crimes. And then these people that are committing crimes are being protected with taxpayer dollars. This is the sanctuary state concept. This is completely unpalatable to Californians, well, and this can never, never be. Uh, as we speak, there's been this case in the news. Uh, it was just in uh, today about the father who uh, uh, was picked up by an ICE agent uh, dropping his daughter off mm -hmm. at school. Did you hear about that one? I heard one? about this, yes. And uh, now he's gotten a temporary stay. Uh, I think he had, he had a couple minor violations. Uh, uh, and they went back a few years. In a way, here's a, here's a guy, I mean, how do you feel about that? Here's a father with, uh, you know, a, f a family here in this country. Um, you know, if he committed some minor crime, uh, you know, punish him for it, but do you deport him? Well, the bottom line is this, California has to follow federal immigration law. That's the beginning and the end of the statement. So if people are- That's hard hearted. Well, you know, it's the law, right? So we either have laws or we don't have laws. You don't have laws that you selectively enforce. So the bottom line is this, you know, what we have to do is we have to make sure that we have secure borders, number one. And number two, we have to have an immigration system that's working and is enforced. So California law enforcement has to cooperate with federal law enforcement. Now, once we start talking about, you know, the actual people that are already here, you take a look at what are your priorities. And your priority very first is getting rid of the bad apples, getting rid of the people that are actually committing crimes. So just uh, two or three weeks ago, there was a story about a Portland uh, person, well, uh, an illegal immigrant who was living in Portland had been deported 20 times and was released from jail and then sexually assaulted a 65 year old woman in her home. How this person was ever released from prison and not with a one way ticket to never come back to the United States is beyond me. But that's something that we can never have in California. Okay, Travis, thanks, thanks, man. Oh, Rick, it's always Good great. Good having you on. Thanks okay. so much. Bye -bye. You bet.